Hello everyone, Chief Canuck here, and today, during the HCS World Championships 2024, 3 for 3 Industries revealed their next steps forward. Yes, plural. Halo is moving to Unreal Engine 5, 3 for 3 Industries is being retooled and renamed to Halo Studios, and multiple Halo games are in development. What you're watching is work in progress footage of what the studio is calling a research project known as Project Foundry. The team wanted to make sure that the first Halo games to ship on Unreal Engine 5 would look, feel, and sound right. No, Project Foundry is not a new game, it's just a non-traditional tech demo, more of a proof of concept to show that what they can do. To not waste any time with the fluff, let's break down the takeaways from the announcement, links are in the description as always. We have beautiful scenes that depict the traditional Pacific Northwest landscape, the hallmark of the franchise. A deep freeze bio called the Coldlands with forerunner structure and snow covered features and bluffs. And Blightlands biome depicting a place completely consumed by the flood. And I know everybody is going nuts over this flood environment. Studio head Pierre Hintze said in an interview with Xbox Wire that it is fair that their intent of what they showed to us today with Project Foundry is expected in italics to be in projects which they are building or for future Halo projects. Which is exciting because this looks beautiful. Ditching the proprietary Swift Space engine means that Halo Studios does not have to devote an entire team to just focus on maintaining the engine, which is a good bonus. They can move those resources elsewhere. This also means that new employees can come from other places with Unreal Engine experience and not have to be trained on old proprietary coding. According to studio art director Chris Matthews, there are some elements of slip space that are almost 25 years old. Ugh. This means that Halo Studios has alleviated some overhead and can reallocate resources and facilitate multiple future projects instead of just one. Pierre went on to state that their priority right now is to do the work and not simply talk about it, wanting to move away from continued teases by doing more and saying less. Which makes sense, 3 for 3 Industries had such a negative connotation for years with Halo 4's kind of mixed reception, Halo 5's not so great reception, Master Chief Collection flop, and then Halo Infinite just kind of being just a shell of what we thought it was going to be. It's time to shed the name, restructure, and get to work and rebuild that, that goodwill. Today's announcement just marks the beginning of the studio's new direction, and they went on and said that a new Halo game is not imminent, so don't expect anything super soon. Halo Infinite will continue to be supported through the Slipspace engine, it's not shifting to Unreal Engine. More operations and Forge updates will continue to come to Halo Infinite, and HCS will continue into Year 4 with Halo Infinite. But just know that in the background while Halo Infinite is continuing, the future of Halo is being built and worked on in Unreal Engine 5. The next steps will be then talking about the games themselves, and they're stressing games plural. I love this. I love this. More games. I want to see other avenues. Oh, I'm super excited. Super different genres of Halo games. Oh, let's go. 3 for 3 was founded to create Halo games, but now as Halo Studios, the studio has been retooled to put the focus entirely on that goal without the distraction of maintaining that slip space engine the end result being and more confidently this time i know we were kind of promised with slip space but this time it's it's a proven case with unreal engine out there in the video game world that we'll get better quality and content faster for halo games to come i love it let's go what do you guys think of this announcement i'm super stoked I, don't, I hope we don't have to wait too long, but I, I want them to take all the time that's needed. I would love to see just more than just a single player multiplayer Halo title. I would love to see different games coming here and there. I would love to see maybe a resurgence of an ODST style game. Uh, more Halo Wars type stuff. Who knows? Unreal Engine can give them more ways to spread out the resources and do multiple games and do them better, do them faster and not have to lug this ball and chain that was the slip space engine let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments down below my name's chief canuck it's nice to see you guys i hope you guys you didn't miss me too much and uh hopefully i'll i'll see you guys sooner than later take care